just horrible stuff that we do to these people, and it affects them forever. And no wonder they hate us. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, the, the the guys that are you know complaining against Iran. Uh, this, this guy that I had this little spat with, he, he was a uh, he was all upset about what was going on in Iran. Uh, that we we allowed them to do this. And I said, did you? And in this email, I wrote back to him. I said, did you ever? Look into the history of why they hate us. I said, uh, you know, the, the coup of Mossadegh because he asked for 50% of the, uh, oil revenues that came out of there and BP overthrew him with the CIA. Iran was important for two reasons. It had oil and it had a thousand mile border with the Soviet Union, now Russia. The CIA wanted access to the border so they could spy on the Soviets and they could put their missiles there. The British, who were deeply involved in this uh, intelligence coup in Iran, we wanted access to Iranian oil. So uh, between us, we quite deliberately and viciously overthrew the Prime Minister, Mr. Mossadegh. Uh, then installed a, 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 a puppet named the Shah, who had this devastating uh, secret police called the Savaka, terrorize the nation uh, for 20 years. Surely, Your Majesty, you're not telling me that the Jewish lobby in the United States pulls the strings of the presidency. Not entirely, but I think even a little too much, even for Israel interests. You think the Jewish lobby in the United States is too powerful for the interests of Israel? I think so. Sometimes they are deserving the interests of Israel because they are, they're pushing around too many people. Well, why would the President of the United States pay attention to that lobby? They are strong. Strong in what sense? They are controlling many things. Controlling what? Newspapers. Medias. Your Majesty. Banks. Finances. And I'm going to stop there. And then once these people finally got their own freedom, what do we do? We go support Saddam Hussein with chemical weapons. In an eight-year Iran-Iraq war where they lost one million men, I said, and then for how many long? We've, we've invaded every other country around their borders. Do you think any reason why the Iranians might see us as ill? I mean, they, there's a whole generation, a whole group of people who have never not known us to be antagonistic towards Iran.